I'm Grady. I'm the owner of a 1993 Ford F-150 pickup. I bought the truck brand new, and from the factory it came with um, some brushed aluminum wheels. But after time, the wheels started to fade, and underneath I noticed that there was a nice shiny finish under the, the, the factory paint. I'm gonna show you a clip here that has the, it shows you the wheel as it is right now. And you can plainly see that underneath the, uh, underneath the paint that there is a nice aluminum finish okay today i'm going to show you how to clean the wheel up and have a nicer than factory finish on it the, what you want to start out with is a, um, a regular compressor i have a regular household compressor and um, this is a two horsepower but something smaller may work but it's just a it's a regular deal it's not an industrial industrial compressor by any means also, what I bought was a soda blaster. I bought this at Harbor Freight. And for you, for those of you that don't know what a soda blaster is, it's just a step-down version of a sand blaster. A sand blaster shoots a lot of heavy-duty aggregate and um, just heavy-duty stuff. But the soda blaster just shoots baking soda, hence the name. And I'll show you the product right now. All it is... It just looks like regular baking soda you use in your house. And that's why they call this a soda blaster. It's just a less aggregate. And it would do, a regular sand blaster would probably do a lot of damage to the wheel. All right. Other products I use in this process are never dull um, wadding. It has some kind of chemical in there, cleaning, cleaning agent. But this is just a hardware stuff. Uh, you buy this at the hardware store and... Um, I love this product. Also, you'll need some regular hardware store lacquer thinner. All right. And after you're done cleaning everything and get the wheel all clean and shiny, you may want to use some shark hide metal protector or any kind of metal protector for that reason, just to, to make the finish last longer and make it keep a nice long finish where you don't have to clean it as often. Okay, but I like this product. Shark hide is a good product. Or else you can just use regular paste wax. I like paste wax myself. It gives it a shine too. And I'm, I don't mind cleaning my wheels every so often, but if you don't want to do that, you use the shark hide just to finish it really nice. Okay, the process, when you start, just follow the directions in the box for the soda blaster. They're nice, easy directions. You plug the compressor in and you go around the wheel and it'll knock that paint right off the wheel. It might take a couple times, and it might take a cleaning to, to, to see where you missed paint, but you'll get it. One important thing you want to do before you start, though, is you want to take, remove the wheel weights, but you want to put them back on. Make sure you put them back on because you don't want your tire out of balance. Mark the tire. I use a, I use, use a Sharpie, or you can use a pencil or a paint pencil or something like that just not to mark the tire but it's very important to put the wheel weights back on as they come off just so you don't have an unbalanced wheel that's very important after you get the wheel all cleaned up you put the wheel weights back on you're back in business after you soda blast it I take this wadding just tear, tear a piece of this off you'll see how good it works just tear a little piece off or use as much as you want it's a nice product and you just start rubbing on the wheel and it takes a lot of a lot of elbow grease but the final product is well worth it you could probably use a a wheel a soft wheel on a drill motor with some compound but with this wheel i have i have rivets here that are hard to get into hard to get into places and i have a valve stem i don't want to knock the valve stem off so that's why i'm doing it by hand if you had a regular clean wheel a brand uh, a wheel that didn't have a valve stem or a tire on it it may be a lot easier with a wheel and some compound to clean it up. But you'll notice on the inside of this wheel, there is some factory paint. I'll get that when I wipe it down. But this factory paint is protected by this, this chrome piece that goes on the wheel at the end. That paint will not come off. It's factory paint. It's been protected from the elements by this cap. And that's also the beauty of the soda blaster. It won't take this factory paint off, but it will take the paint that's been damaged by the weather off. And that's, that's another beauty of it. 
after you're done with the wadding, you want to take a, take a rag and start wiping this stuff off. Just start wiping it off. And as you can see, there's a lot of oxidation here. Anybody knows anything about aluminum knows about oxidation and how dirty it is. And that's why I wear these gloves. I also wear some surgical gloves underneath just for extra protection. You can do what you want to. But also when you soda blast, you want to make sure that there's a lot of ventilation. You want to be outdoors or something like that. You want to wear a hat. You want to wear a dust mask or a respirator, safety glasses for sure, and make sure it's a well-ventilated area. That's during the soda blast process. I don't want to show you that right now because it's, it's such a messy, messy deal and it's such a lot of, a lot of um, dust. So we're just going to bypass that. This wheel has already been soda blasted and I'm in the process right now of just taking the, wiping it down, getting all the, the, dirty, the dirty aluminum off there, the dirty aluminum finish. And I'm not going to show you that whole process because it does take some time. But I will be back to show you the finished product. Hang in there, I'll be back. Thank you. Welcome back everybody. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The last time you saw this wheel, it was covered with Neverdoll. Since then, I've wiped it down with rags. After I wiped it down with the rags, I cleaned it up with the lacquer thinner and a paper towel. After I did that, I put some paste wax on it. Let's take a look. This is the finished product. As you see under this cap, that is the factory paint. At one time, the whole wheel looked like that. Since then, and since we've cleaned it up, it looks a whole lot better. That is a br better than a brand new wheel, in my opinion. I hope this video has helped anybody out there. I sure had fun making the video. Thank you very much. Take care.